So some of you may not know this, but um, my sister and I put a lot of work <laughs> into this backdrop, including uh, all of the YouTuber books that we have bought together. Um, Connor Franza, I do have yours. It's not in this pile. It's somewhere in my room. Don't know where it is. Love you. Hey YouTube, it's Stan Como here, and today I want to talk to you about, this is going to sound like I'm bragging, and maybe I am, about all the times that I have kind of interacted with celebrities. <laughs> and I only say celebrities because some people would be like, Beyonce is a celebrity, and then I would mention like one of these people's names and they'd be like, who's that? And I'd be like, how dare you? And I'm sure that at some point, everybody who is watching this video right now has fangirled over the fact that they've been able to interact with a celebrity of some sort, or they've really, really wanted to do it, and uh, I'm just sharing my excitement that I've been able to do it. All right, we're gonna start at the bottom um, of really, really exciting, and then kind of work our way up. So first one's first. I also feel like really awkward saying all of this, so I'm gonna pretend to be somebody else for a second. I love a good white wine. Uh, the first one we'll start off with was uh, Tyler Oakley once liked a tweet that I was mentioned in. Uh, moving on to the second one, uh, Connor Manning, a great YouTuber, once liked a tweet that I sent him. Number three, another great YouTuber by the name of Jordan Dow once liked a tweet that I sent him and commented slash replied to an Instagram message, not message, comment that I replied, I don't, <laughs> essentially he replied to a comment that I posted on his Instagram photo, which by the way was about a JoJo lyric that he had in, in the comment section of his photo that he posted. Great man, love him. Anyway, next one, we, oh my battery is dying. <laughs> I'm gonna switch the battery. Oh, and there we go, a fresh battery. Next on our list, Travis Garland, singer extraordinaire, once replied to a Snapchat I sent him about his album. But for real, it was really cool. He was doing like a Ask Travis thing on Snapchat. And so I sent him one being like, hey, love the song Other People, uh, tell me about it. And he sent back something along the lines of how he recorded it and how long it took, which was really cool. And now back to random British, French, bad English accent guy. Oof. Thank you, Dan. And last but certainly not least, Jojo. As some of you may or may not, not know, oof, me and Jojo go back long, long time. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Anyway, me and Jojo go back a way long time. I've loved her since she was 13, since I was 11 slash 12, and I've gone to see her show now twice, and I've tweeted her so many times I can't even tell you. She's liked a few, she's retweeted a few tweets, she's replied to me once or twice, I know for sure once, uh, because it was like an Ash Jojo thing and she replied to me and it was really super cool. Uh, but the last time I went to go see her, which was last November, I went inside her concert. I was there like nine hours early, I was the first one there, and then I got to see her walk in and I like waved to her and she waved back, of course, and then I went into the show, it was amazing, and she slayed me. <laughs> And after the show, I couldn't get meet and greet tickets because they sold out like within a point one second, uh, which is annoying. Uh, but anyway, so I was determined to see her again. Um, so what I did is I waited outside the venue after the show with like four or five other people. She came out, we like took a photo, this one, posted on Instagram. Also, if you don't follow me on all my social media, please do this right now. Dancoma92 on literally everything, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Anyway, back to the story. I literally stood and watched her take photos with everyone else because I was just in awe of how amazing and beautiful she was. And then she went into her van and I was still creepy and waited for the van to leave so I could be the last person she saw. I waved by when she left and she waved back. So I believe I was the first and last person she saw at that concert, which is kind of amazing. But this is what takes the cake, okay? In the comment section, I had written that the way that we were interacting and the way that she said hi to me made me feel like she recognized who I was. Well, lo and behold, Jojo herself comments on that photo saying that she did recognize me and blew my mind away. Um, <laughs> Jojo knows who I am. That's like my goal. <laughs> like, um, besides, you know, just being my own person, but having Jojo know who I am is like, it melts me away. I can't, I can't even describe to you how cool that is. And I was like screenshotting it and posting it everywhere. So you could say that I like her a little bit. 
uh, by Mad Love, October 14th. All right, that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more, and if you have ever interacted with a celebrity of any sort on social media in real life, please let me know who it was and how that went down in the comment section below. I'll be reading those and commenting the ones that are really funny and awesome and cool. Maybe not funny. They might not be funny. They might be cool and awesome, which I'm expecting them to be. Uh, and yeah, as always, I will see you later. Whew.